Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners, how to set up an invoice template. So when you get into QuickBooks and uh, let's say you're just starting to use it, or maybe you've just never really customized uh, an invoice template or any templates for that matter, uh, QuickBooks kind of defaults to this generic uh, template that it gives you. Okay. And so what you can do is you can make this template your own. So you can customize it to make it for your business, add logos, change the fonts, etc. So we're going to talk about how to do that. Now, one thing I want to show you real quick is if we go to customer, the customer drop down menu, we go to create invoices. You're going to see that uh, over here, you can apply a different template. So you can change it on different invoices. Okay, so let's say we want to use the Rock Castle one. It's going to bring up the template that was set up for that. Now, what will happen to make your invoice template the default one is next time you go to create an invoice, you're going to change it, you know, here uh, to, let's say, Intuit product invoice. You're going to create your template or your invoice. You're going to save it. And the next time you come in to create an invoice, it's going to default to that same in, that same template that you picked. Okay. So pretty straightforward. There's no way to really say, hey, make this the default one, except it's just going to remember that you used it the, the, the last time you created an invoice and it will default to that one in the future. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, what you want to do in your QuickBooks file, you want to go to the list drop down menu. Okay. And you're going to see an option down here that says templates. Okay. So you're going to see here you in your file, this is a sample company file, but you will probably just have the ones that say Intuit in front of it. So Intuit product invoice, standard statement, etc. So these are the basic ones that QuickBooks gives you. And in this case, we want to create a new one. So we're going to go down to templates and we're going to click new and we're going to choose invoice because we are focusing on an invoice template in this video all right so it brings up this screen basic customization first thing you want to do is you want to go to manage templates and we want to change the name of this to my company template okay of course, you are going to change it to whatever you want to make the name. In this video, I'm going to change it to My Company Template. So we're going to click OK, and you'll see now it says My Company Template. If you want to use a logo, you click here, and you have to choose the logo from your computer or the cloud or wherever it is that you want to upload. Okay, I'm not going to choose one in this video. Uh, but for this case, you know, if you want to put your logo on the invoice, which I, I recommend, I think it looks very nice, uh, you would choose that and click open. Okay, I'm going to cancel this. Now, next thing we want to do is if we are going to change the color scheme. Okay, so let's say we want to make this maroon. You're going to do that and then click apply color scheme and you can see that it changes everything on here. Okay. If you're printing these and mailing them and it's a black and white printer, it's not going to make any difference. You just leave it black and white. Uh, but if you're emailing them and you want to add some color here, you can definitely do that. Okay. Now, if you want to change the font, okay, the title is this where it says invoice. And then of course the name address and the labels, which are the column headers, uh, then uh, you can do that. So let's say we want to change the font of the title. We want to make it italic and we want to make it, let's say a little bit bigger. Okay. We're going to say invoice. It changed it right up there. If we want to change the company name. Okay. It's very small. Okay, so I want to make it bold and let's say 16. Uh, we're going to say OK and you'll see that it increases that there. Okay, now we've got labels and you can see here there's all sorts of things. Totals, subtotals, data. Uh, you can change all sorts of fonts on here. Okay, now if you have your label, it's going to put it over here and uh, move the name and whatnot to the side. All right. Now, company and transaction information. So if you want to add the company name, company address, fax number, print past due stamp, okay? Which if you have past due invoices, it'll automatically put a past due stamp on the invoice, okay? You can add your phone number and email address, okay? And so you can see where it's putting those down here, email and phone number. 
Okay. If you need to update this information, you can click this and you can change any of this information within here. You got legal information, identification, etc. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. All right. Print status stamp. Select to include the status on the form. Various statuses are paid, pending, received, void, and so on. Okay, so I always check that off as well. All right, so we have the basic customization. So now what we want to do is we want to go to additional customization. It's going to bring up this screen, and you can see here, um, first of all, you have two columns here, screen and print, and, and then you have the title, which you can change. Okay, so you'll see all these different options. So if you want the date to print, but not on the screen, then you can take that off or leave it on. And the same with print. Okay, and you can see it disappearing over here because we're in a print preview. And if you want to change the name of this to, uh, you know, I'll just make up a name, my invoice. Okay. Then you see it says my invoice, uh, date, invoice number. Let's say you want to change this to NUM period. It's going to change that up there. And so you can go through down here. And if you want to add, say, an account number, uh, let's say, uh, let's say we don't want birthday or spouse's name on an invoice, but say that uh, the rep you just want on the screen, but you don't want it to print. Okay. Uh, you can go down here and change all these. All right. Now we want to go to columns. Okay. And you'll see the same thing. Uh, and these are down here. So we have the different columns. If you want to add, um, you know, description to the screen and to print, part number, let's say amount, class, other, color, material. And then you can add uh, the names in here. And if you want to change the order of these, let's say that we want the... Uh, let's see, description is only on the screen, but let's say we want quantity first, and then we put that third. It's going to move quantity here, and then description. So it's reordering the columns. So you can go in here and change the order of the columns. Okay. Next, progress columns. So if this is a progress bill, you're going to go through all of these, and you're going to check off whether it's on the screen, the printer, both, and then the order. Okay, this is not a progress invoice, so that does not apply here. The footer. Again, same thing. Screen, print, and you can put a customer message. Uh, you can put a subtotal sales tax, payments, etc. Customer balance total. Let's say that, and we put the customer balance total down there. Okay, job total, and if there's a disclaimer or anything that you want to put at the bottom, you definitely can do that. And now print. Okay, so again, use invoice printer settings from printer setup. That's going to be the typical uh, choice you're going to use, but you can use specified printer settings below for this invoice. Okay, so you can change it to make it a different paper size, landscape, etc. Okay, we're going to print page numbers on forms with more than two pages and trailing zeros means you're adding additional zeros so that quantity amounts are aligned on the decimal on the printed form. You can do that, but you don't need to. Okay. All right. So now we have the additional customization set up. And now what you want to do is you want to go to the layout designer. Okay. Now this is going to allow you to move different things around. All right. So it looks a little bit funky. Um, but one thing I want to point out here, a couple things I want to point out, but you can say you show envelope window. Okay. So if you're using an envelope to mail this invoice, you're going to see this is where the envelope window is going to be. Okay. So you want to make sure that that lines up with uh, the return address, which is your company address, as well as uh, your customer's billing address. All right. So what you can do on here, you can change, you can move things. So what you're going to do is hold down your left mouse button. So if I do that here, I can move this to a different spot. Okay. So if I want to change it, let's put it back, but let's say I want to move the date, the, let's put that, well, I'll put that right here, 
and then I can put that here and put that here. And if I wanted to move different things around here, I could. Okay, you can change the margins, look at it with a grid view. Uh, but basically, this layout designer is for you to move things around. All right. Now, um, you want to make sure it looks nice. And so you can try it a couple times and click OK. And when it comes back here, you can do a print preview. And it's going to show you what this looks like. Okay. All right. So once you do this, uh, you're going to click OK with the additional customization. And then you uh, will have, once you have the basic customization done, what you can do is click OK. OK. And so you want to make sure you go through everything, get it the way you want it to look, and click OK. OK. Now, you'll see now when I go to Customers, Create Invoices, you're going to see my company template. Okay, now this is your template uh, that you uh, chose. And let's say, let's just try something. Let's say an item here. Blueprint changes to, we'll say this is $120. Okay, so we got $240. Now let's say I want to just do a, um, a print preview of this to see what this looks like. You can see that I've got the two rate and the amount, okay? And the customer total balance I put in there, the email and the phone number. All right. So let me close this here, and I'm not going to save this. So we'll say save and close, okay? Let me clear, save and close. Okay, now I do want to show you one other thing within invoices here, okay? So if I go to templates down here, and... I go to, let's say I go up to new, okay, and I'm going to say new invoice, and then I go to manage templates, okay. I want to show you this option right here where it says download templates, okay. This is, if you want to, instead of going through and creating everything yourself, you can download certain templates, okay, where the design has already been done, all right. So you'll have to scroll through here. There's all sorts of different ones. But if you scroll through here, you're going to see different options. Uh, there's attorney invoice. Um, there's, let's say, email orange target ship. Okay. You know what? Let's download that one. We'll do it in uh, portrait form and just see what that looks like. So I'm going to open this. So you just click download and then you click open and it's going to bring it up on the screen. Okay. So you're going to see now it brings up this basic customization. So if I don't want to change anything and I just say, OK, OK, and I go back to my templates, you'll see that it's now in my templates. So if I go up to customers, create invoices, and I say, let's see, email orange target remit invoice. OK, you'll see it changes it here, but let's go to the print preview. OK, so now you can see that, look, it's got that entire template. So if you need a little um, inspiration, if you need, uh, if you kind of want all this stuff done for you, you can go get a template that's already out there. You can download these already done. You don't have to do any of this design work and you can add your logo. You can change some things on this pre-done template. And so you can see here that, you know, it's got some important information with credit card, expiration signature, um, you know, amount enclosed, detach and return with the payment, you know, so get a little bit creative, go in there, download some templates, make it your own, and uh, you can really spice it up for your company. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Uh, happy to answer those for you. Also, check out the QuickBooks University. Discover more at qbuniversity.org.